Welcome to the Appendix, where we read the primary sources of the past so the present can be better understood. Today's primary source, the rush Bagot Agreement, April 28, 1818. This famous agreement neutralized the waters of the Great Lakes and provided for an unfortified frontier between the United States and Canada. Arrangement between the United States and Great Britain between Richard Rush Esquire, acting as Secretary of the Department of States, and Charles Bagot, His Britannic Majesty's Envoy Extraordinary, etc. The naval force to be maintained upon the American lakes by His Majesty and the Government of the United States shall henceforth be confined to the falling vessels on each side, that is, on Lake Ontario, to one vessel not exceeding 100 tons burden and armed with one 18-pound cannon on the upper lakes to two vessels not exceeding like burden each and armed with like force on the waters of Lake Champlain to one vessel not exceeding like burden and armed with like force. All other armed vessels on these lakes shall be forthwith dismantled and no other vessels of war shall be there built or armed. If either party should hereafter be desirous of annulling this stipulation and should give notice to that effect to the other party, it shall cease to be binding after the expiration of six months from the dates of such notice. The naval forces so to be limited shall be restricted to such service as will in no respect interfere with the proper duties of the armed vessels of the other party. Thank you for joining us for our primary source today on the appendix. We will see you in the stacks.